Now, you have said you had a town uh, hall when you were arguing for the ballot measure. Uh, You've said that a reason that you needed to stop marriage for gays was because uh, gay men die 20 years earlier than other men. And you were basing this on your medical opinion as a doctor as well. Could you explain that? Well, I I think I got that information from the... uh uh, uh, the um, disease control out of Atlanta, and um, gay men get AIDS. They get hepatitis. Well, I, I, I've I've scoured the Center for Disease Control uh, website. There's there's nothing like that at all. Well, I I think that's what I have. I also have a real nice book I've read by Frank Turek T U R E K called Correct, Not Politically Correct. It goes into some facts on that as well. It's a little short book. You might want to pick that up and read it because it's very interesting. Well, I've never heard of that person, and just because somebody wrote a book saying something doesn't mean it's true. You're a legislator. You should have the facts, shouldn't you? Well, I think these are some of the facts. He's written a couple of other books. Um, never heard of him. Is he a medical authority? Who is he? No, he's a, he's a founder and president of uh, uh, crossexamine.org and co-author of two uh, award-winning books, I Don't Have Enough Faith to Be an Atheist, and Legislating Morality. It also has a TV program, I Don't Have Enough Faith to Be an Atheist, airs each week. So he's not a public health official. No, no. Right. So you're a legislator. You're claiming, as a doctor as well, that gay men die 20 years earlier than anybody else based on... Some, what you said, a radio host, author, a no, Christian advocate? He has it in his book, but I got the information from the uh, uh, Center for Disease Control in Atlanta. There, there's Come nothing on the Center for Disease Control uh, website that says that. You because might want to check with some infectious disease specialists and talk with them and find out. Uh, I've talked to many infectious disease uh, specialists, and I, I know all of the facts, and that is simply... Not true. In fact, it's been debunked when others uh, among Christian conservatives have tried to put it out there. Uh, it was debunked by uh, various journalists as just simply distorted facts. Well, you can take it for what it's worth. I, I think they do uh, die earlier. I've had a few AIDS patients and so forth. and and. Uh Well, AIDS is a disease, a global pandemic, right, that is affecting heterosexuals uh, around the world, much uh, greater numbers than uh, homosexuals, right? Um, I don't know that to be a fact. I know it does affect some heterosexuals, but... um... You don't know that to be a fact? You are a fellow of the Aerospace Medical Association, a fellow of the American College of Preventative Medicine, and you don't know that AIDS worldwide is killing heterosexuals at a greater number, the entire continent of Africa and India, India as well. Do you realize that? I realize that. It's killing many people throughout the world. And, um, but I was more concerned about our country, and I think uh, AIDS in our country is killing people at an earlier age than it should. Maybe it's not 20 years. Well, actually, right now, uh, people are... Um, living and thriving with HIV because we now have drugs that right. uh, do, do. Uh, prevent the, the virus from replicating, so we're not seeing the deaths uh, that we had. Uh, we are seeing many heterosexuals affected in this country as well, but you know, people of various groups are affected by uh, all kinds of diseases, and you know, there are many people in this country who are obese and they are heterosexual, um, should laws be put up against them because they are dying earlier? They are certainly no, I'm not. dying at earlier ages yeah. because they eat too much. I didn't put the law, I didn't introduce the bill because people were dying earlier of AIDS. I put it in there to preserve marriage between. Well, that, that's not what you woman. said. I, I can play your uh, audio from your town hall in which you uh, said that you have gay patients and they die 20 years. Now, you didn't base it on a book. You based it on your patients. Yeah, well, I based it on my, my knowledge, and maybe my knowledge is not correct, but 
the law was not put in. It was put in for that. Well, let, let me just play the uh, clip, and we can talk about that. Okay. At least 20 years has taken off a homosexual's life uh, if they practice homosexuality due to the increased death rate from AIDS and uh, hepatitis and all the other related factors to that. But that doesn't seem to discourage them from practicing uh, that this un, uh, un, uh, unhealthy lifestyle. Now, you're saying now that that's not the reason why you had um, pushed through this ballot measure. But then why are you even talking about that? And because I think I try, I'm trying to preserve marriage between one man and one woman. For 5,000 years, that has been had, that has been the case in the but, world. But, that, but that's not what you said. You said that the well, reason maybe I was... Didn't say it. Maybe I didn't say all of that then, but I should have. Well, you were talking about your patience. You're now saying maybe your knowledge is not correct. Um, you were saying... You're just trying to trick me up on this, and well, you're going to continue to... I'm not trying to trick you, on trip you up at all. If you're going to continue to do this, I'd just as soon not discuss it anymore with you, because I think uh, you're too biased on what you're trying to do. I'm, I'm just trying to explain why I put the bill in. I put it in for eight years in a row. Never got it out of the Senate because of the Democratic control. Now we have Republican control. They let the bill be heard. It was passed by the Senate. It was passed by the House to allow the people to vote as to whether they want marriage between one man and one woman. And that's all I was asking them to do, and it will be... I, I, I understand that, sir. You are also a legislator who stood up at a town hall and put out scientific misinformation that you can't even back up now. Okay. If you say so, then that's the case. I was just going from my, some personal experience. Well, you keep telling me about the reason you put the bill in, because you want to preserve marriage. That's Why correct. don't you ban divorce? Why don't I ban divorce? Yeah. I'd rather, uh, Isn't that a bigger threat to marriage than gay marriage? How did gay marriages harm that's not marriage? The issue. Uh, the issue is whether we want to preserve marriage between one man and one woman. And that's the reason I put the bill But, in. but why do you need to preserve it that way? Why is it under threat from gays? How does a under gay threat, marriage affect your marriage? It's threat by the federal judges who want to... Uh, to interpret the law the way they want to see the law. But, but what will happen, sir? What will happen? Already gays are marrying in six states. Everything's fine in those states. What will happen to marriage? What are you afraid will happen to the institution of marriage? You know that in Massachusetts, they have the lowest divorce rate in the country, and they have marriage for gays. So uh, gay marriage is not affecting I, the rest of the marriages. Why are you opposing to let the people vote? Because we have in this country a system that doesn't allow the majority to vote on the rights of the minority. And that is something that we certainly should preserve. Why should the majority vote on the rights of the minority? But, but more so, why should there be a ban? How does it harm your marriage? I can't answer all these questions you have. I, I realize that you. Why are, not? You're on the side. Of Why not? The day. Why can't you answer my questions? You are a legislator and a doctor, and you cannot answer simple questions about the law and about health in this country. I'm not an expert on everything there. Well, then why do you why take the, the responsibility in? of voting on people's lives and you admit here you don't even have the facts? Do you know how r irresponsible that is? Okay, if you want to call me irresponsible, that's fine. You can't do that. I've been called a lot worse than that, and I've got more emails and phone calls and calls and everything. I mean, I'm asking you some simple questions you I've should be able to answer, right? How does marriage... Um, how is it harmed by gay people wanting to marry? It's a simple question. I, I don't have the answer to that question. I just want to have that on the ballot. Let the people vote for it if they vote. Why? It. Why? So, Why are you doing it? Certainly you have an answer to that question. Certainly you think that it's harming marriage. You, you, can, you can't answer why divorce should be banned. Why shouldn't divorce be banned? You might want to read that book, correct, not political, correct, by... 
Frank Truitt, I think. No, you don't tell me to write uh, read a book by somebody who is unknown and doesn't have the authority. I'm asking I you. Why don't you ban divorce? W- w- why not? I, I, that wasn't that wasn't my intent of the legislation. It was, is divorce a good thing? I'll ask you. I'll ask you some yes or no's. How's that? Divorce, a good thing? I don't think so. I think we're going to end this conversation. How is divorce, a good thing or a bad thing? I'm going to end this conversation right now because uh, I see you're completely negative on the other side, trying to set me up. I, I'm, I'm not trying to set you up, sir. I'm, I'm just asking to, questions, and it would be very cowardly of you to hang up now. You would be showing yourself to be a coward. Uh, Are you a coward? Are you a coward, sir? No. I hope not. Well, then, don't hang up the phone. Because well, I'm, I'm asking I'm you some simple some questions. Questions. I was trying to answer straight questions as to why I put the bill in. And right, and I asked you simple question. How does marriage get affected? How does marriage get affected by gays? And why not focus on divorce? Isn't that important? Isn't divorce ruining marriage? It's very important. I think the breakdown in the family structure in our country is very critical. Well, then why aren't you leading the cause against divorce? You should be passing a law against divorce. Well, why don't you come down here and run for office and, and put in a law and do that and pass it yourself? Well, why? It wouldn't pass? Why wouldn't it pass? I isn't don't know. Isn't marriage under attack from that's divorce? Not issue, that's not the issue. The issue here is uh, marriage between one man and one woman not divorce. And I'm, I'm sorry the divorce rate is as high as it is because that is true. Well, but that is what is affecting marriage. And you're saying that people would never vote for that because they want to be able to get out of marriage, right? There's they want to be able to get divorced, there's right? There's different things affecting marriages. But um, anyhow, I appreciate you calling, and uh, uh, I, I didn't answer a lot of your questions. No, you didn't. You don't, you don't want to hear my... What I had to say. Well, we heard what you had to say about six times. You explained how you want this oh. on the ballot. So we heard you out, and you're right. You didn't answer my questions because you don't seem to have answers to them, and I expect you to be knowledgeable as a legislator. Why don't you check with someone else then? Uh, the uh, majority of the people in the Senate, the majority of the people in the House have voted for this. You might want to get somebody else on the other side to give you the answers to your questions you asked rather than me. I'm sorry that... Well, yeah, I I, I think it really speaks very uh, poorly of you as a legislator that you cannot answer some simple questions here, and and certainly as a doctor, that you're putting out misinformation and you're you're quoting some obscure book. You you can't even quote public health officials in this country. The issue is letting the people vote. To add it to the Constitution like 30 other states. I understand that's about the seventh time you've told us that, but you haven't explained why that is important. It's important to preserve traditional marriage, and that's one way we can do it. Right, and, and banning divorce would preserve traditional marriage, right? See, you can't answer that, sir, because you know it's a double standard. Because you know that you don't have an answer. You don't have an answer on the divorce question. And that's not a trick. That's not a trick. I'm not saying, sir, sir. I I think you ought to talk with someone else in, in North Carolina about this. And I appreciate you taking time to call. Well, I want to thank you for speaking with us. I'm sorry that you couldn't answer the questions. I think it speaks uh, to your own lack of education about this and your lack of answers, which is pretty appalling for a legislator. And, And I think the entire country is now seeing you embarrass yourself and embarrass the state of North Carolina. Thank you for coming on today. State Senator James Forrester, a Republican who pushed through a ballot measure to ban marriage in the Constitution of North Carolina. You heard him. He couldn't even answer the reasons why that was important. I want to hear from all of you. Take some of your calls on this. We'll do that in a couple of minutes. The Michelangelo Signorelli Show on Sirius XM Outcue 108.